Yeah, yeah, I think we're, yeah, it really is a killer, man. I'm not trying to joke about it either, but it literally is a killer. Yeah. It took him. Yeah. Fargo Brewing Company in here. Yep. I mean, the official cause of death may not have been depression, but hmm. it pretty much still was responsible to one degree or another. Let's see, trying to see if there's anything of interest in this area. I remember when I had my other YouTube channel, Silverado 708. Yeah. I did some a video down here. The only reason I'm bringing it up is uh, St. Mary's Catholic Church is up here. Oh, yeah. And on one of my videos, I actually have St. Mary's a part of the whole ordeal. Uh huh. I didn't go into the building or nothing but the exterior of it's out in the video yeah and then i went i was riding my trike down huh, and the mess is down there yeah i wonder what happened there and who knows probably somebody with a heart attack or who knows what yeah but i went and did a video of uh, the block nine project all kinds of stuff riding my bike down broadway yep i've noticed lately if you go to on uh fm dispatch logs if you Google FM dispatch logs, there's been a lot of reports of people being suicidal in the Fargo-Moorhead area. Ah, oh, no doubt. I'm St. Sure. Mary's is to the right. The steeple that I was pointing out, that's to the Lutheran Church. Yeah. Just so nobody gets confused. Separate. I was thinking that was St. Mary's, and that's the... Uh, first Lutheran. First Lutheran. St. Mary's is over here to the right. Yeah, as you guys can the Catholic Church. Yep. And as you can all tell, their old churches, by the way, they're built. St. Mary's, I think, was built in 1896. Yeah, I know. 1893. I was trying to remember when the Lutheran one was built. Oh, right around the same time. Yeah, something Late like. Late 1800s. Yeah. Liberian restaurant, the Bismarck. I still want to get into that librarian restaurant. Yeah. See what kind of goodies they got going on. True. I think you've always been the kind that likes to try out different stuff. I'm not going to discriminate. I like all kinds of food. Ah, the Empire. One Donnie of the... used to stay above there in the apartments. Yeah. Drink himself to death, too. Yeah, it destroyed his body so hard it's not even cool. Pickled his liver. He could have used his blood to sterilize a needle. Yeah, no kidding. Ain't no lie. Yeah. Now, spicy pie, they're good. And I said, ain't no lie. I know that. Fargo Theater. Yeah. Sandy's Pizza to the well. Oh, yeah. That place is considered a classic. And expensive. Some people argue it's worth it. Block 9 project. Yeah, one of these days I'm going to have to really do a video focused on that alone. There's actually a hotel in the Block 9 project. Yep. Hotel Donaldson, you know? Yeah. Used to be the flop house in Fargo. Oh, yeah. It used to be. Yeah, I rent you remember room. watching the Blues Brothers, they had the flop house. Yeah. That's the Hotel Donaldson of the Fargo. Yeah, Uncle Donnie used to stay there back in the day. And caught a couple co-workers that stayed there. Ugh. If they were still going, I'd still think about staying there. Oh. Yeah, they charged $15 a day to go stay there. Yeah, well, you could either pay by the day, the month. week, or the month. Yeah. A lot of people did monthly... Uh, things there. Yeah, depending on how long they planned on staying in the area. Or how much money they had. True. A lot of the homeless did it just so they could get out of the weather. Yeah, if they had enough for a few days, they'd stay there just so they could finally they clean They can up. use the bathroom, shower up, do a few things. And no, it was no big deal. And it was always better than staying at the No Life, I mean the New Life Center. <laughs> what, the Low Life Center? Yeah. 
I think people would have preferred the flop house over the homeless shelter. They did. Yeah. At least at the, uh, the flop house, you could sneak a bottle in and drink it. Yeah. And nobody gave a crap because they weren't exactly, um, they were, let's say it was a privately for profit type place. Oh, and you didn't have to get up at 5.45 in the morning. And go to bed at 9 at night. Yeah. Or do work chores. And oh, how I know that... Oh, listen to people bitch about, oh, you got to control your snoring. Yeah. <laughs> Fights for no reason between random people. You walk in with food and you're like, hey, what'd you bring me? <laughs> Kicking the ass. Island Park pool up here to the right. Eh? Yeah, I think they're planning on some amazing... Y YW or what? YMCA, is it over here to the left? Yeah, YMCA. I keep calling it the YWCA. Yeah. Yeah. They're supposed to do a major renovation or redo of this whole island park. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't know when, when or what they're going to do, but I know it's going to be a major redoing of like it. Like I say, I don't, I don't watch much of the news. Yeah, only if it's something that I find interesting. It's like, oh, dude, check out the news quick. I generally don't a crap about watching the news. Too much depression. Yeah. Too much freaking nastiness on there. True. Oh yeah, and that building to the left, I think they used to do Santa's village over there. They still do. Oh well. There's a building. Oh there's there's the ball diamond up here. Oh yeah. The building up on the hill. Yeah. It used to be RDO. Yep. And then RDO went into the Block 9 project. Yep. And I think a big part of that reason was, and I think by the looks of it, the school district owns that building now. Yeah. But I think they just wanted more space so they could keep growing on what they were doing. I am going to go ahead and show something. Let's think that he's only a block over. And then I'll kind of head back the direction we were going. Yeah. I wanted to show WDAY News Center 6 off to the left. You're a news leader. ABC. I remember when I was in grade school, we got to do a tour of the place. I remember when we were in grade school, they had a little thing down in the basement of this building. Uh-huh. Where they, you know, it was the news station back then too, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but they had a little TV show that they did where you could go down in there. It was kind of, it was something similar to the Bozo Show. Yeah, like a small house over here. Yeah. It was something similar to the Bozo Show. Yeah, like a local version. But it was a localized version of it. And yet you got children coming in, you could win prizes, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I think you were there on a few occasions. Yeah, Mom and Dad made sure I was there many a times. Just because you Seems really... to me you were there a few times too, but... I keep thinking so. I, rem I remembered a lot being part, part of that whole thing. Yeah. I remember getting the... I can't remember which year it was in grade school that I got to go there for a tour. Got to see like where they did the weather and everything. Yeah. And we'd get to see the, the big green screen at the, in yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. And surprisingly or not, the guy that was the weatherman back then is still doing it after all these decades. What? Yeah, well, I think it was John. Did he retire? No. I think, yeah, because I seem to remember John Wheeler. I don't know if he was the head guy for the weather, but I know he was one of the weathermen back well, in I know he was the weatherman then. Yeah, but I, mean, I thought it was, I thought you were talking Jack Sand. No, no, it was, yeah, that guy. I know he was a part of the weather group back then. Yeah, in this case, it was uh, Wheeler that was doing, basically showing us everything. I didn't know that. Yeah, I hope. And I thought you were talking Jack Sand. Nope. Now that guy, I'd be surprised if he's even alive. Oh, but, he's still alive. Holy Christ. I know he's retired, but... Oh, easily. Still. Yeah. I forgot about Jack Sand, honestly. 
And he gets into selling novelty items. Yeah, I believe that. Small church, I think, off to the left that we passed. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah sure. Gotcha. And speaking of crappy Norwegian accents, I know there's a guy on one of the news stations, and I can't remember. I think it's a Channel 11 one, where the guy used to get really annoyed about the movie Fargo. Apparently it ticked him off because we don't really sound like that. You betcha. Of course, Dad would always call BS on what he was saying. It's like, oh, we sound like that all right. Our old hoods left. Yeah. We used to live a half a block in. Mm. I ever tell you about my deaf mute brother? Oh, he's a musician. Yeah. His first song is titled. <laughs> yeah, I think you actually caught people with that one before. Mm. They're like, wait a minute, I didn't know your brother was a deaf mute. I thought he spoke and heard just fine. <laughs> Felix heard that and just started laughing. Knowing full well was full of crap. Yeah, seeing how many people he could mess with. Yeah, I got a deaf mute brother. His first song is, uh, uh. Great musician, I tell you. Mm. It sounds a little something like, uh, uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably going to catch us a lot of crap on YouTube. <laughs> I'll live with that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm over it. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm over it. <laughs> oh. Wanna go into Moorhead? Why not? It doesn't matter what you think. What? Shit, I? Oh yeah, Bolger Funeral Home coming up to the left. My dad was there. Yeah, they actually took care of his services. My dad died, Bolger took care of them. Did a great job, I thought. I thought they did good. Oh, no kidding. They were one of the best in town. Yeah, I think they always had a good reputation from what I remember. That and the other one you want to go to if, in your, if you're in the area uh, is Wright Funeral Home. Yep, Hanson Runvold. That is W-R-I-G-H-T. Yep. Hanson's another good one. Yep, Hanson Runs Vault is notorious for being good. Those are the three major. Man, yeah, they're the three big if, if ones. When you talk funeral homes, yeah. those are the three main ones you want to go through. Yep. Mostly because they've got the best reputations. You don't want to go through me on burial. <laughs> Mexican it, Village. Cramped seating quarters, I think. It's one place if you're a big man. Don't go there. Yeah. Seating's too tight. Yeah, it's not exactly good for those of us that are uh, horizontally expansive. Vertically challenged. Yeah. Especially the expansive part. Como toast hippo. <laughs> one out of time, please. Small planets. We don't do livestock. <laughs> I think I started doing that around a boss once and first comments you made was, eh, back to reading Garfield comics, aren't we? <laughs> I'm like, how'd you know? Eh, I've read enough of them in my lifetime. <laughs> I was at the doctor's office, I can't remember when it was, about a year ago. And I told the girl, she says, can I get you to step on the scale? I'm like, no. She said, why? So last time I did, I made the thing go tilt. <laughs> And then I said they took him a year to recalibrate the whole thing. Oh! And then I come up, so which truck stop do you want to weigh me in at? Do we need to have an oversized load permit? Shout out. Kidding. <laughs> Woodlawn Park over here to the right. It's down on the lower level. Gets flooded almost every year. 
about it every year. Yeah, unless they're having one hell of a dry year. Moorhead, Minnesota. I think Woodlawn oh. still has disc golf on its court property. Who did what? Uh, disc golf on Woodlawn. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, this is a good perk. Out of well, Woodlawn's a good perk too, but. Oh, yeah. But I think Woodlawn and Oak Grove are supposed to be more of the expert ones. Mm -hmm. If you want uh, entry level, go to Rendezvous Burt. Yeah, they're good for those of us that are less experienced. That's that's the beginner's course. Yeah. Literally, that's the beginner's course. Yeah. 8th Street South and Moria. Yeah. Would it bother you if I skipped your CBD products to? I'd be fine with whatever you decide. I'm just not in the mood to go pick any up right now. Oh, that's fine. I'll just take some ibuprofen when I get home. Alright. I can live with that. Huh. Whatever floats your boat. I'm not in that much pain right now. Oh, good. Oh yeah, on the corner over here, the Comstock house. Did you know when that house was built, in today's day and age, if, if you include inflation and all that, the way the currency is nowadays, yeah. that would have been a half a million dollar house. Wow. But when the guy built it, at the time, he spent, he spent insane money at that time building it, because he had a bunch of hard wood brought in from like other areas. Concordia campus. And I did not know that though. Yeah, there's a big history on that church about the hardwood that went in there. Yeah. And he had it all basically outsourced yeah. from other regions. Hmm. And the house at that time, if a typical house costed, let's just say, $3,000, for example. Yeah. He would have spent 30000 to build it. Oh. And that guy was loaded with money. Yeah, apparently. Oh, heck, the land that you see around here. Yeah. He owned all this land. Ah, gotcha. He owned from the Comstock house all the way out to the interstate. Wow. And then he sold it off little by little. Then it eventually, and you know where the Moorhead Public Library is? Yeah. He owned that land. He owned the, where the post office is at. Oh, wow. He owned most of downtown Moorhead and all the way out to 